now the next step is i'm going to add the back panel to the front panel so what i'm going to do here to make it easier for you you just put it like this that's the back panel place it like this then you place your front panel on it you know this my uh, lecture is all about beginner sewing so you won't get confused as a beginner so now you can see it's the back panel then the next thing you're going to do, you take this one, then place it up like this. Make sure the, you should have slope is all equal. Then, then what the next step is, you take your pin, making sure the shoulder slope on the front panel and the shoulder slope on the side is equal. Then, you take your, your pin, then pin it up like so. Take the other pin, you pin it up as well. After doing this, the next thing I'll do is the same part for the other side. I'll take this side as well, bring it out, place it like this as well, making sure it's equal, making sure the shoulder slope is equal, and the and the ham hole they are all equal as well. That is very important. Then after doing that, you pin it as well. Pin up this side as well. So when I finish that, I'll come back and show you the next step. As you can see, I've attached it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to now cut out the flare. So now to calculate the flare, the waist measurement is uh, 25 and a half inches. I'm going to have two inches. I'm going to have two, let me say, I'm going to have three inches for my sewing allowance, right? So if I had two inches to eat, 5.5 plus three inches is equals um, 28 inches, 0.5. Then I'm going to add another four inches as well for my zipper allowance. So... 28 plus 4 inch of my zipper allowance is equals to 32.5. So this 32.5, I'm going to divide it by 6.28. So when I finish dividing, I'll come back and show you the next step. So... This is 2.5. If you divide by 6.28, what I have is 5.2. So now my fabric is folded into four. I did a video on how to cut out different flares. So please have a look at that video where I took my time to explain how to cut out different types of flare that you want for your dressmaking. So I'm going to use 5.2 to cut out my flare. Then I'll come back and show you the next step. So here is my fabric. I'm going to measure 5.2 here, which I've done. I'm doing like 5.2, then I'm going to the middle 5.2, then I'm press. I've cut out my flare. This is my flare here. So this is the blouse. So I'm going to add the flare to the top part of it. Before I add it, I'm going to take out one inch for which I'm going to use to add the flare to the bodies. So I'm going to start measuring one inch from the back like so. I did a video on how to add flare to your bodies. Have a look at that video where I took my time to explain how to do that. So when I finish marking out my allowances, I will come back and show you the next step. See friends, I finished pinning my flare to my top. See the pinning. So now... Now I'm going to take the sewing machine, I'm going to stitch it round. So I'm going to stitch from here straight where to the ends. I've had my flare to my to my blouse. So the next step is I'm going to I do a gathered, which I'm going to put across from this way 
to this way how am i going to do it what i did was you know i have one ish at my shoulder slope right so i'm going to cut like this i measure one ish eh? then i bring my 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 tape measure down this way then i just do the curve the way, where i want my curve to be it's gonna be from here so yeah i want it to end here so from here what i have here is 17 inches so to create my raffles on my front panel i'm going to add 70 plus 70 together make it 34 then half half then i'm going to add um three inches to it to make it a 37 inches so i've already cut it out so what i cut out here was this yeah from here from this length to this length here is 38 inches right and the width from here let me show it out the width from here is uh, six and a half inches so what i'm going to do here i'm going to tidy up my edges here Had this one and this one together then i'll tidy up my edges here tidy up my edges here then i'm going to gather it to make it like a flare i did a video on how to add your flare together please have a look at that video where i took my time to explain how to gather raffles for your blouse designs so when i finish gathering this i'll come back and show you the next step so my friends i've done the gathered in the front you can see the raffles now which i gathered so you remember i said i was going to have the design from here like this right but i changed my mind because i realized when i put the design like this it's going to cover the all the front of the blouse and i don't want that so i decided to put it on one side or one shoulder so what i mean is this i'm going to put the ruffle from one shoulder from here like this to the back of the uh, onto the back panel so before i do that right i'm going to add the just one panel i'm going to add this panel together just one of it just one i'm going to take one inch which I took, uh, which I put here for my sewing allowance to so have my back panel, my front panel together. I'm going to take one inch from here. So I'm going to hide it together. When I finish hiding it together, then I'll come back and show you the next step. So as you can see, I've tidied up just one shoulder. Then um, I just mark a line from straight there, this way, in between my ham hole, this is my ham hole, to the back of the blouse the back panel so now what i'm going to do you see the line i mark here the straight line around the shoulder to the back panel i'm going to i'm going to arrange my flare gently around it to the back around the line Then I'm going to stitch it in. Just going to follow the curve like this. Follow the lines. Start stitching, stitching, stitching to the back. That's what I'm going to do. So when I finish doing that, I'll come, I'll come back and show you the next step. Friends, I've finished stitching it. So the next step is to is to add zip to the back of the blouse so I'm just going to turn it like this I'm going to take out my one of the two inches which I used to drop off my zip so I'm going to take that and create my zip for the back blouse next step now is to now add my sleeve to my blouse so I did a, uh, I did a video where I took my time, how to explain your cap height, how to cut out your sleeve, and how to attach your sleeve. So please have a look at my videos on my content. There I explain how to cut out your sleeves, how to dress out your sleeves. So you see there. 
and also how to attach sleeve to your blouse so i'm going to attach this sleeve to the blouse now so when i finish doing that i'll come back and show you the next step so friends this is the end product of the project and i also have a scarf for this blouse as well for the child uh, this is the scarf i made as well which is tied on her head as well so i hope you like this to right if you do please give it a thumbs up and share my video and please don't forget to subscribe and share my video so for now one peace one love and bye for now bye for now